Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today the video is related to RNA sequencing data analysis and the title of my today's video is How to set your Linux for RNA sequencing data analysis. In today's video, the concept and steps you are going to learn today is that why we have installed Linux operating system. I also discussed this in the previous video, but I will discuss it here in a little bit more detail. I will show you that how to install Mamba Forge or Mini Forge, understanding the concept of environments in Linux operating system. Then I will show you that how to create your environments and how to install fast QC tool. So in today's video, basically it will be a little bit theoretical and mostly uh, it will be practical based. So watch the video till end. So let me show you that uh, in the previous video, uh, we uh, just generated the fast files. Uh, we basically downloaded it. I, um, I mentioned and I discussed this uh, video in the previous part. So if you want to learn RNA sequencing in more detail and from the very beginning, so just start from the, the first video. So then you will know that what is basically this um, uh, slide about. Okay. But in simple, I will tell you that these are the first few files. And after that, we will be going to analyze it. Okay. So for analyze, we will be dealing with Linux operating system. Okay. A little bit more detail of the RNA sequencing workflow. Basically, it consists of QC, quality control, alignment, quantification, normalization, and differential extra gene analysis. Okay. So again, I'm telling you that um, the, the part that will be going to be uh, covered by the Linux operating system is these three parts. Okay. This QC, QC basically is the quality control. Okay. So in this part, we will be basically uh, analyzing our data and we will be checking its quality. And if its quality is compromised, so basically we will be doing, we will be pre-processing it. Okay. We will process those files, the first few files that we have, uh, we have downloaded it from the biological databases. So QC is basically the data pre-processing. So this will be, uh, be conducted and this will be analyzed through Linux operating system. So this is the basic reason that why I'm starting with the Linux operating system. Okay. After that, uh, we will be aligning our reads with the uh, with the reference genome so it will also be conducted through linux operating system okay so this is the second reason that why we are using linux and the third is that the quantification that we will be just checking that how many genes are being produced or are being expressed in our past few files okay and this is also be going to be conducted by the linux operating system okay so these three steps are mandatory after that when we just generate the out output files okay so uh, when the output files are being generated from the after the quantification then these output files will be used through our programming in order to visualize it and after that um, we will just identify our differentially expressed genes okay and this is the downstream analysis this will be also be done by our programming okay so basically um, this was the main reason that why i started linux operating system so as men i mentioned that um, i started from getting started with linux operating system and i show you the basics and command and navigation so that this video is very much important this part it is very much important for you people because you will know that how uh, to start with the linux operating system okay now in the today's video we will be uh, dealing with the main data analysis although i will not analyze the data but for analyzing the data you should prepare your linux operating system you should install the basic uh, the basic tools for example if we are analyzing we are checking the quality of our fastq files so basically we will be dealing with the fastq tool okay so uh, how to install it because it's totally coding based so it will be a little bit difficult for you to understand it um, because for a biologist uh, you know, if you are a beginning beginner so you have to learn this okay so first of all let's start the practical i have show you that why we have installed linux operating system now i will start with the installing mamba forge mini forge and after that then we will be dealing with the environments and the creating environment okay so let's start with the practical Okay, so this is basically the interface of our Linux operating system as I have discussed in the previous video. Okay, so to begin with the installation of the Mamba Forge, basically Mamba Forge or Mini Forge, these are basically the the uh, the softwares that have been produced by the Conda, Mini Conda, and when we install this, after that we will be installing the tools inside this Mamba, and after that we will be uh, dealing with the data analysis. Okay, so for this you have to go to the Google, and after that you will just write Mamba Forge download. Uh, this will be the uh, GitHub page of Conda more uh, Forge or Mini Forge. These are basically same. Okay, so that's why uh, you will click on it and you will just get here. Okay, and after that uh, you will uh, just download this first um, uh, this basically this first link. This is the Mini Forge 3 Linux. Um, 86 and 64 so you have to download this you just have to click on it and the download will start okay as i have uh i have just download this so i will show you that what does it look like it's basically a bash file okay it consists of codings and uh different stuff and it's always uh, related to the installation of this mamba or this mini forge okay so i have downloaded it in the linux operating system it will be present inside this download okay i am showing you the graphical user interface and i will also be showing you the the command line okay so basically this is the dot sh file dot sh file means shell file and um it basically consists of the 
code that uh, the script that is used to install the mama for the mini forge okay so uh, simply you have to go to the terminal and as i have shown you in the previous video what will you do is basically now we are standing in the desktop and in the desktop uh, so we will just uh, go to the downloads okay so for the download we will just uh, move a little bit back and after that now here is our downloads and in the downloads we will just write cd and downloads and now here is the mini force 3 linux um, that dot sh file that you have been downloaded from the google okay and after that you will write bash and from after that you will you will write bash and mini okay so now you have just you will now apply it enter and it will start installation okay so for this press um please press enter to continue so you will press enter and after that you will more more because this is the license file and you uh, it is basically inside that script okay so you will just click on the enter enter and here um you are just reading the the script uh, basically the, the uh, that file okay so now you have, do you do you accept the license term so we will say yes and again i will type enter and now they're telling you that uh, uh mini four will now be installed into this location so your location is home ubuntu mini force 3 you can also change it but as a default it is okay it will be installed inside the ubuntu home okay so you will just enter it and then after that uh, the installation will start okay so it will take a little time uh because it will be un unpacking and uh, now it will be extracting so it will take a little bit time and now the mini four is being uh, uh it is installing inside your uh, Linux operating system. Okay, so after that, when you install this uh, Mini Forge, then you can uh, just go to and install your fast queue tool. Okay, so just you have to just install this Mini Forge only one time. Okay, now here is you can undo this running by conda initiate reverse shell. Now we will just write yes. Okay, and after that, now basically thank you for installing Mini Forge and now the Mini Forge is installed. Okay, so you you just have to install it only one time. Okay, you don't have to install it again and again by installing different tools. Okay, now your Mini Forge is being installed. Now the most important thing is that we have to just um, now we will just create environment and after that we will install the fastq tool and after installing fastq tool then you will you will proceed with the data analysis and that part will be uh, shown in the next video okay now uh, it is installed uh, you only have to just cross it okay and again you have to just open your terminal okay so after that i'm opening my terminal again okay so uh, it is opening okay now here is the base uh before the installation there was just ubuntu and desktop now here is the base so it should appear okay in your computer now the mini forge is being uh, activated okay so as I, uh, I will show you that where does it uh, where is it present okay so basically it is present here now look here this is the mini forge 3 okay so all the tools that you are going to install this will be uh, will be saved in this mini forge 3 okay now now i will be showing you that what are environments and how to create environments but first of all i want to show you that what is basically an environment so very simply when you are installing a specific package for example you are installing fast queue tool so you have to create an environment so after creating that environment you have to just install that that tool into that specific environment okay so when you are analyzing your data you, you will just activate that environment and after that you can do your analysis okay so it's just basically uh, a type of uh, we can say that it, uh, uh, if you are dealing with environment so it, it, is, uh, it is easy to proceed with it okay because you will be knowing it that which tool is present in which environment okay so you can activate that environment and after that then you can proceed with your analysis just very simple if i want to just create an environment so what will i write is basically i will write mamba okay mamba and after that uh, minus n and for example now mamba minus n okay sorry mamba create minus n and if you want to uh, you are proceeding with the first qc so i will write just qc okay and now uh, an environment is being created okay and now you can just activate it mamba uh, activate qc okay Okay, so now the base has been changed into QC. Now you can install your first two first QC into this environment. Okay, so after that, when you are use you want to use first QC, so you will activate this QC, and after that, that analysis will be proceeded. Okay, so it's a kind of that it has detached your first QC tool into QC environment. Okay, so it will not merge into the other files, and you can easily proceed with it. Okay, for example, you want to deactivate it, so you will write Mamba uh, activate base. Just look here it has been deactivated okay so again if you want to activate it so mamba and now if you want to install and uh, now you are in the base environment okay and now you want to install fast qc so when you install fast qc so it will be installed in, installed installed in the base environment and you don't want to do it okay you want to install it in the qc environment so first of all you will just uh, activate your mamba activate qc and after that you have to install the fast Q, fast qc tool in the for example if you want to do alignment and for alignment there is a star tool star so for installing star you have to just create an environment star and after that you have to install your star tool inside that uh, 
inside that environment okay so it's just separating the other tools from the uh, just separating the tools from each other okay so in order to uh, you will not be get confused into it okay so that's why environments are very much important to create and you use it individually okay now you have activate qc and after that now you want to install fast qc tool okay fast qc tool is used for data pre-processing for data visualization sorry you want to see that what is the quality of your fast few files so you have to just install fast qc and you have to just see into it that what is the quality of my fast qc file so we will be dealing it uh, with this uh, concept in the later videos but now we will install fast qc okay so for installation of the fast qc i will just write a code but uh, uh for you people i will show you manually that how to use it okay for example you are uh, you are in the you are in google you just write fast qc install ubuntu okay you want to install fast qc tool in ubuntu okay and for example this is the first link i go to the first link and after that you just uh, here is the command okay here is the command sudo apt minus y install fast qc there are multiple multiple commands for installing fast qc this is only one command okay uh, there is also mamba uh, mamba install fast qc uh, you can just uh, open chat gpt and you have you just type it that how to install fast qc in linux operating system it will give you multiple commands okay and you can use it for example i want to use this command sudo apt minus y install fast qc so very easily i will just go to the linux operating system and i will write sudo okay sudo apt okay uh sudo apt and after that uh, minus y install fast qc okay sudo apt minus y install fast qc okay and we will check recheck it that have we, we have write it correctly okay we have write it correctly okay and after that you will just enter and it will start installation okay it will just uh, uh, read the command for uh, there are multiple commands for it okay that you you want to install uh, fast qc okay basically i already have installed it so fast qc is already uh, the newest newest version so already i have installed fast qc so that's why it's telling me that you have already installed it okay so now basically we have installed our my uh, fast qc now you can uh, just perform your data analysis using fast qc okay so in the let in the next video i will discuss that based the quality of the files okay that what does it looks like and after that i will also show you that how to perform fast qc on your uh on your these files okay we have just uh, uh download these files okay this fast q files okay so it will be the topic for the next video i think you have inst uh, understand this video a little bit because uh, uh it's a type of uh, command type so i recommend to just deal with it practice over it because codes cannot be memorized it's only uh, you can get professional through uh through practice okay just create your environments install fast qc you can also install fast p tool also because it will be used for data pre-processing and but uh, the, the, the theory and the practical will be in the next part of this video series okay so hope you have understand it well if you have any query just let me know okay you can email me you can also comment me i will answer you uh, uh i will answer you uh, in a short moment of time okay if you, you want to perform uh, your uh, your projects related to rna sequencing data analysis or related to bioinformatics and you want you need help so i'm here just let me know i will assist you in different bioinformatics projects related to uh, phd projects ms projects bs projects okay so thank you very much for today uh, you, if you have learned something from this video so just like it and uh, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more interesting video okay so thank you very much see you in the next video thank you very much god bless you allah hafiz